Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to take long screenshots on any Android device. Now this is a cool new feature in the Galaxy Note 5 and Galaxy S7. It basically lets you take vertically scrolling screenshots so that you can capture and share the entire length of an app. But of course it's not a stock Android feature, so that means it only works on devices that have Samsung's underlying TouchWiz framework. For the rest of us though, we can still get this functionality, thanks to a cool little app called Stitch and Share. It's available for free on the Google Play Store, so search it by name to get it installed, or you can use the link in step 1 in my full tutorial. But either way, once you've downloaded the app, go ahead and launch it to see how it all works. This little tutorial it gives you at first is quite helpful. Basically what it's saying is that all you need to do is take multiple screenshots while you scroll through an app vertically. But make sure to leave a little bit of overlap between the screenshots so that Stitch and Share can see where to put the images together. Then when you're done taking a series of overlapping screenshots, Stitch and Share automatically picks up on this and gives you a little notification that lets you view the long version it just made. So with all that in mind, start by taking a series of overlapping screenshots. There's nothing special about this part, so just take screenshots the way you normally would. From there, depending on your device, Stitch and Share should automatically put the shots together to make a long continuous image, at which point you would see that little notification. But that feature doesn't work on my Nexus, so if you're like me and you don't end up seeing the notification, just launch the Stitch and Share app. From here, it's really easy to create a long screenshot manually. To start, just tap the plus button in the top right corner, then on the following menu, select the topmost screenshot in your series. Next, tap the plus button again, then select the second screenshot in your series. Repeat this same process until you've added all the screenshots, and at this point you'll notice that Stitch and Share has automatically put the images together. From here, regardless of if you did things manually or you got the automatic notification, tap the share icon in the bottom right corner to save or share your screenshot. By default, it wants to generate a link that people can use to view your screenshot on the Stitch and Share website, but if you'd rather save a hard copy, select the share file option at the top of this menu. Next, just choose Save Image to SD Card, and within seconds your long screenshot will be saved to the Pictures folder on your internal storage. From there, you can view the final product in your gallery app, and you'll notice that the overlapping screenshots were all stitched together seamlessly. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.